You know, the PrEP has actually gotten a really bad rap. You do not have to drink huge amounts of fluid. It's really only a liter, and then you'll mix the medication, a dry powder, in with that. You can do that 24, up to 24 hours ahead of time, refrigerate that into the, in the refrigerator, get it very cold, and then you're going to sip through a straw, place that straw in the middle of your tongue so that you bypass all those taste buds in the very front. It's going to make it a lot easier to tolerate. The reason why you're going to drink the large amount of fluid is to move all the solid waste out of your colon so that you can get a very clear picture of the lining of the colon and all the sides, every inch of it, from the cecum all the way out. You know, about 95% of people sleep the entire procedure. You're going to be given conscious sedation, which is a narcotic and a sedative together, and you're not even going to remember this procedure, so it, it's really quite painless. We realize that colonoscopy is one of the most invasive procedures that people will undergo and our healthcare team is very sensitive to that. We want to provide a very private and a very uh, modest experience for people and we do have both men and women who perform colonoscopy so if that's a choice that you'd like to make then we have that available for you. You know there's a very low risk of complication during colonoscopy. In fact, there's less than one in 1,000 people that will experience a problem like that, and yet there's one in 20 people that will be diagnosed with colon cancer. So which group would you rather be in? The majority of colon cancers are actually found in people without any symptoms. 80% of people have no family history of colon cancer, and yet it's 90% curable when it's found early.